Whisper Gaming ASMR. And just so you know, I upload two versions of all of my videos. One with gameplay audio and one without gameplay audio. So check the video title to see which one you're watching. And if you'd prefer to watch the other version, it is linked at the top of the video description. But now that that is out of the way, we'll be chewing gum in this video. And I'm starting a new game that I've been aware of for a while. But I hadn't looked much into until the YouTube algorithm kind of got to me recently. Okay, so we're gonna do a custom character. Let's check out the different races. Oh yeah, this game is Baldur's Gate 3. I'm not a huge fan of how this background audio is sounding right now. Hopefully it's not too annoying for you. But this game is an RPG. And from what I understand, it is based off of Dungeons and Dragons gameplay or rules or something like that. I don't know a ton about Dungeons and Dragons. That's always been something I've kind of been interested in a bit. But if you've ever played the game Divinity Original Sin or Divinity Original Sin 2, it's made by the same people, Larian Studios. And they've also made, I don't know if they actually made Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. I don't know much about that, so I won't speak to that. But I know there's a lot of customization. This video will probably be pretty short, so it might just be going through character customization. We'll see. I want to keep it to around a half an hour. There's also a short cutscene before this. Um, basically, I'm in some type of Mind Flayer ship or something. Mind Flayers, like, from Lovecraft, I guess. Kind of an alien tentacle race. And they just put some type of scary-looking worm into my eye, and it crawled into my brain. Then it went to cut to black and came to the character screen, so... Anyway, without further ado, we have Elf. We have High Elf, Wood Elf. Okay, we have High Elf or Wood Elf. A tiefling, which seems to be some type of demon, devil looking race. We have red, blue, and orange, yellowish variety. Have a drow. Have a couple of those. We have just human. Also, I'm gonna probably butcher a lot of these names, but Githyanki, Jethyanki. Not sure how to say that. We have a dwarf. Wow, these dwarves are. Thick. You have a gold dwarf, a shield dwarf, you have a half elf, a half elf, a wood half elf, a drow half elf, you have a halfling, a strong heart halfling, or a light foot halfling. And then you have gnomes, you have a forest gnome, or a deep gnome, or a rock gnome, or a forest gnome. Okay. And I'm not sure if I want to be male or female. But I know that even your gender affects how things play out in this game. Speak with animals, gain ability to comprehend and verbally communicate with beasts. I like the ability 
to talk to animals too. What else? Get that. I guess first off I need to figure out what type of play style I want to play in this game. Charm a beast and convince it to not attack you. 
mission ends early. When the spell ends, the target might become hostile.
seems kind of useful. and subvert your audience 
exchanging common craft, engaging common crafts in high society alike, preserving art, and bringing joy to the hapless and downtrodden night your charismatic aura. I think that's what I'm going to go with. Or folk hero. You're a champion of the common people, challenging tyrants and monsters to protect the helpless. Saving innocence and imminent danger will make your legend grow. Guild artisan. I'm thinking hope. I'm gonna go with folk hero. Forest gnome. Or a bard. Okay, we get animal handling. Intimidation. Sorry if there was a weird cut there, just had a, a thunderstorm. Well, had thunder crashing, so not super ASMR friendly. But yeah, this is what we're gonna go with. This is who my gnome is attracted to. Back to the cutscene.
This would be pretty terrifying in medieval times. To see a giant octopus monster ship flying through your kingdom. Oh, Jesus. cinematic quality. That's a convenient ability. Well, I guess they're not too hard to follow. Here. This looks like an uninviting place, to say the least.